just jump right in. Everybody feel ready? Mm -hmm. I think I'm ready. I feel like Max <laughs> is more ready than me, but I think okay. uh, there's a very good guess old college try. That he is more ready than you. <laughs> All right. Well, then, hello and welcome to another edition of Author Fan Face Off. The idea is very simple. We have one author, one fan, one book, and then we're going to see who's the greater expert on that book. And that's that's the whole story. I'm Steve Shankin, my co-author. My co-author. She is my co-author of this. <laughs> my co-host in this endeavor is the super librarian Stacy Ratner. Say hello. Hello. And our guest today, our author guest today, is Marion Johnson. I loved one of my favorite books of recent years, The Parker Inheritance. Today we're going to focus on the super fun Jackson Green books. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Steve. You're, really from, you're coming from Boston, Boston, is that right? That's right. Okay. So let's see. The, the first, the, you know, the great green heist, we're going back to 2014. Yeah. yeah. Is it uh, fresh in your mind still, would you say? Yes. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Our contestant says yes, Marion says no. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that was a big, I mean, to me, that's the kind of book, I love it now, but I would have loved it as a kid as well. It was the kind of thing you just always wanted to write, that kind of fun action group of quirky kids get together and pull a heist kind of story. Yeah, you know, I've been stewing over the story for a long time, and, and I'll be honest, I don't know if I had the skills to do it when I first started my career. It took me a while kind of writing and understanding more about point of view and how to manage all these different characters and plot stuff uh, before I was really ready to do it. And, um, and then it came off really, really well. A lot of that was thanks to my wonderful editor for that book, uh, Cheryl Klein, who was at uh, Scholastic at the time I wrote the book. Great. And you do have something new coming out as well, right? That's right, I have twins. Um, oh yeah, here, twins. twins. I have uh, a graphic novel uh, illustrated by Shannon Wright called Twins coming out uh, on October 6th. Awesome. Graphic mm, novels. That's great. gonna be awesome. I love graphic novels. All right. Well, you're in for a challenge today because, as you heard, your challenger is very familiar with this book. Whether you are or not, Stacy, can you do the honors? I would love to introduce our friend Max. He is a fifth grader from upstate New York. Loves to read and play soccer, and has read *The Great Green Heist* many 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 times so um an amazing contender um i think we're ready i'm excited yeah, let's just jump right in i'm gonna ask two you know one question to each and then stacy will and we'll go back and forth with 10 questions and then there's a tie break around should we need it we'll see how it goes and so max all right i'm gonna jump right in what club is jackson green in at maplewood middle school the botany club Botany Club, Botany guys, awesome. it's two plants. Very good. All right. Very <laughs> This is actually a very fitting that. book to be talking about in this election season. It's I know, all about perfect. a presidential election at school. Name the two candidates for student council president. Okay. I know this. Okay. One is Keith Sinclair, yep. and the other one is Gabriela de la Cruz. Very good. Okay. What all? Max, Gabby and Jackson enjoy a rivalry in what sport? Basketball. You got it. Okay. And all right, Varian. According to the Maplewood Herald, this dish at the school cafeteria is the new Phantom Menace. <laughs> I think. Oh, this changed so much when I was revising the book. I think it ended up being chicken enchiladas. Is that right? Yes. Woo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. All right, Max. Where does Jackson Green's group of operatives meet? In a shed behind Hashmi's, Hashmi the tech guy's house. Oh, that's, that's a lot of detail. That's yeah, the shed yep. is the key piece of information. All right. Now, Marion. When the book begins, Gabby is not speaking to Jackson. Why not? It's, it's for a very good reason. Um, uh, um, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, do you want what it is or the name of the event? What it is. Uh, just what, what okay, happened. So, what, what happened? Uh, what happened? Well, Jackson kind of sort of kissed another girl. Yeah. 
Um, and that's kind of what tall is there. I accept that answer. Very good. All right. This is going to be tough, but the answers okay. or the questions do get tougher too. So, we'll <clears throat> yes. Um, all right, Max, this one's a hard one. What is the name of the type of lock on the door of the school's copy room? The Gut and Babble 4200. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Any <laughs> harder questions? Okay. Many, many, many times he's read the book. All right, here I am. Yeah. Mrs. Goldman, I, lo I love this part, who works in the school office, is desperate to get tickets for this band's upcoming concert. I don't no, I do not remember. I know I'm sure it was very witty and clever, and I have no <laughs> idea what it is. Should we pass it on to call a friend yeah. Max? Let's pass it on. Let's see if Max knows it. The Skater Boys. Ah, the Skater ah. Boys. That's right. <laughs> oh. And it'll be even funnier if we put it on screen. It's, uh, yeah, it's S-K-A-T-R yes. Boys. <laughs> yeah. Let's just keep going. Uh, Max. You know, I don't know if he can stump you, but tell me this. How did Keith get Stuart Hogan to drop out of the race for president? He gave him Ultimate Fantasy 4. Wow. Yeah. Ultimate Fantasy 4. I might have accepted a video game, but Ultimate Fantasy 4 is <laughs> right. All right. During the election campaign, Barry, the environmental action team changed its name to SACS, S-A-K-S. Do you know what that? Students against, students against Keith Sinclair, yes? Correct. Yes, Woo! correct. All right. <laughs> this is very good. So after the first 10 questions, Max is ahead. I've got the tiebreaker around, so let's just, let's just ask the questions for fun. These are really, these are tough. All right. So. Let's see. Um, in an earlier prank, Jackson sold, sold this on eBay. The Riggins Middle School Goat. Wow. <laughs> he just jumped right in the very end, right? That's it. Um, yeah. Uh, and what is the Maplewood Middle School mascot? Either of you remember hmm. that? I, uh, it's so obscure. I think it's mentioned once. <laughs> Is it like a otter or a sea lion or a you're, dolphin? You're, you're getting dolphin. closer. A whale, a seahorse. Max, you know it, right? Yeah. What is it? A dolphin. A fighting dolphins. That's not the right. fighting dolphins. <laughs> and we had this as a bonus question. If 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 we were deadlocked, which very and we're not. We're not um, <laughs> Does anyone remember what Jackson Green's rule number one is? Um, he has a, he has many rules about how to pull the perfect heist, and they are listed in the back of the book. Some come up in the narrative, some don't. But this is rule number one. Very <laughs> sneaking away. I wonder what it is. Oh, um, yeah, just think about it. <laughs> Okay, I, I cheated. Fine, I know. But I'm gonna read it. Uh, no matter how simple. Oh, sorry. Do you know what it is, Max? No, I forgot it. You oh, you forgot one thing. Wow, that's wow. A, a shame. Shame on you. Um, no matter how simple a job looks, always plan before you act. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's coming to him now. Yeah. Really, there's that list of rules, and and and. Writers always talk about how they make up stuff about their characters that don't ever make it into the book. Was that one of those things where I need to make up all these rules even if, that, that he thinks about even if they don't explicitly show up in the story? Yeah, I wanted, I knew I wanted to have him representing like odd number rules, rule number seven, number whatever, whatever. And so I figured I can't have seven unless I have one through six. And then I started working them in because we we already knew we were going to have Bat Matter because we were going to explain all the strange names for all the cons that we pulled off. Yeah. So it was easy to just add that to it as well. That's awesome. Max, how do you feel? Uh, I'm excited. I think this is a, such a great book right now for all of us to promote and read aloud as this election season heats up. 
That's the other so thing. You can so read it for perfect. another time, Max. <laughs> yeah, it's so perfect for the election season. And, and uh, yeah, it's a heist, but they, I would call it a heist for good, wouldn't you? That they really are <laughs> trying to not rig, but sort of unrig the election. I won't say any more without giving away spoilers, but it's a perfect yeah. story for this time. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, so much. thank you. Uh, well, that was really good competition. Good. Thank you so much. Uh, Max, you are clearly a uh, master of all things Jackson Green. I bow to you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Good job to both of you. Thank you. Thank you for writing the book. Oh, uh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. We think I got one thing right here. <laughs>